Yeah, girl, there's some fine people in this neighborhood. There's a lot of trash, too. But I ain't one to gossip. Girl, look at you. Ooh, have a, have a zing zing outfit. You got everything. <laughs> we all know about famous entertainment families like the Jacksons and the Jonas Brothers, right? Then there's the Wayans crew. They've made a huge impact on comedy, especially with gems like White Chicks. Squeeze me? Oh, no, you did But wait, hold up. Sure, the Wayans brothers have lit up our screens with their comedic genius, but let's not forget their sister, Kim. From her standout performance in In Living Color, <laughs> to her memorable role in In the House. Jackie talked to Spike Lee about directing our infomercial. Kim Wayans has been the secret weapon of comedy gold. In this video, we're diving into Kim's life story. So kick back, relax, and join us as we discover the inside scoop on why Kim left Hollywood. Meet Kimberly Nicole Wayans, born on October 16, 1961, an American actress and comedian, and a vital part of the legendary Wayans family. Kim hails from New York City, where she grew up with her parents, Elvira, and Howell Wayans, alongside her siblings. We grew up in the projects in, in New York, and my mother was one of those like fabulous women who had all these like crazy ideas. Their family was deeply connected to the Jehovah's Witnesses' religion and called New York's Chelsea neighborhood home. Kim graduated from Seward Park High School and later attended Wesleyan University. After graduating, Kim dove headfirst into the world of acting. You might recognize her from cult classics like I'm Gonna Get You Sucker" and Don't Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. This ain't your baby. Hey, that's some Both directed by her brother Keenan, and let's not forget her unforgettable roles in Talking About Sex and Joanna Man. Girl, I chase chickens quicker than you. Well, I hope you can make that ball bounce like them titties of yours. But Kim's true claim to fame came when she joined forces with her siblings on the Fox Variety Show in Living Color. Bobby, I'm tired of you running around. I'm not taking care of these kids you have by other women. Well, that's my prerogative. <laughs> now let's talk about the talented Wayans crew. Alongside Kim, there's Dwayne, Keenan, Damon, Sean, Marlon, Nadia, Elvira, Deidre, and Vani. They're all multi-talented, diving into various roles in the entertainment industry. Together, they've conquered both the big and small screens, writing, directing, producing, and starring in over 45 movies and TV shows. And here's the jaw-dropping part. They pulled in over a billion bucks at the box office with their movie Magic. That's black excellence right there. It was so fun. You know, to me, they're just my crazy family. So I'm just used to them, but they're just fun. You know, it's just like always laughter, lots of love. Just, um, it was great, you know, to have your own, um, like, team with you all the time. You know, you never had to, like, really be desperate for friends because, you know, you had your brothers and sisters. So that was really nice. With their natural knack for making people laugh, it's no wonder they're famous. But it's all thanks to Keenan Ivory Wayans. After writing and directing some killer flicks, Keenan got a chance to shake things up. Instead of just focusing on himself, he cooked up in Living Color, a game-changing show that not only put his siblings on the map, but also gave a big break to stars like Jim Carrey, Jamie Foxx, and Jennifer Lopez. May I get you something, monsieur? <laughs> Keenan wasn't just about family. He was all about sharing the spotlight and making sure everyone got a chance to shine. Now, let's rewind to the 90s. In Living Color exploded on the scene on April 15, 1990, and bam, it became an instant smash hit with over 22 million viewers glued to their screens for the first episode. The show blasted its way into pop culture history, and guess what? It snagged the Emmy for Outstanding Variety Series in its very first season. Yep, that's how the weigh-ins roll. It's wild to think that a predominantly black and completely cheeky variety show could skyrocket the Fox network to new heights, especially when you consider that most black comedies at the time were pretty tame and family-friendly. But In Living Color wasn't about playing it safe. It tapped into the vibrant hip-hop culture and served up edgy sketches that made Saturday Night Live look like yesterday's news. By the third season, it had so much clout that Fox even aired a special episode as a counter to the Super Bowl halftime show. We're having a great Super Bowl Sunday. But more importantly, we're hoping you have a safe Super Bowl Sunday. But like all things, the supernova status of In Living Color eventually fizzled out. 
But here's where things get juicy. Behind the scenes, tensions were boiling. Kenan Ivory Wayans, the mastermind behind it all, clashed with Fox over censorship, leading to his dramatic exit after season three. Meanwhile, Damon had his sights set on Hollywood, leaving fans heartbroken. And amidst all the chaos, Kim stood her ground, honoring her contract and sticking it out till the bitter end. But she didn't go quietly. Alongside other cast members, she threw shade by sporting sunglasses and boycotting Jamie Foxx's Christmas number in solidarity with Keenan. Now that's how you stand on business. One other person who didn't leave quietly was Kim Coles. Remember her? She played the character of the daughter within the hardworking Jamaican family, the Headleys. <laughs> What you doing home right now? Daddy, leave me alone. I have a date with my new boyfriend. But here's the kicker. After just one season, she vanished without a trace, leaving fans scratching their heads. The last we heard of her, she was storming off the set, furiously denying rumors of a steamy love affair gone sour with none other than show's creator, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Here's the gist. Just before the start of the second season in 1991, Coles got a shocking call from Keenan's assistant telling her not to bother showing up on Monday. Just like that. Boom! She was out. So, I was released. I guess it was felt that I just was unnecessary. He didn't think I could do it. I was let go. And he did me a favor. It was, it, I was bitter at first. Gained 10 pounds back. The whole thing. Sit up and I was eating bonbons. Going, you know, my life is over. I don't even know how to type. What am I going to do? But it was the best thing that could have happened for me because I learned something about myself. I learned something about integrity. I learned about what I will and won't do for a job. And I learned that life goes on. And if it meant that I had to sweep floors for the rest of my life, I would rather do that with integrity than, than do something that I didn't want to do or that I felt uncomfortable about or kiss somebody's feet. Not that he ever asked me. The uncomfortable part about it was that there was an awful rumor saying that I'd had an affair with him. And it bothered me that people didn't give me credit that the possibility existed that I didn't have an affair. Nobody has sex with someone and then they fire them from a job. I wasn't a whore and I'm not there and that's, that's the reality of it. So it hurt my husband very much too. He wanted to kill somebody. You know, who do you blame for starting a rumor like that? Officially, it was all about unforeseen creative differences, but let's call a spade a spade. Coles was axed, plain and simple. I wish I could tell you exactly why. For some reason, Keenan just didn't see me fitting in anymore, Coles said during an interview. Ouch! Can you imagine being cut loose from such a hit show? It must have been a tough blow for Coles, and she admits it took some time to bounce back from the disappointment. But hey, that's showbiz for you, full of twists, turns, and more drama than a soap opera. But hold on, because here comes the juicy part. Kim dropped bombshell after bombshell, and guess who was at the center of it all? Yep, you guessed it, Kim Wayans. Let's talk versatility. Coles fired back. How can you show off your skills when you're not even given a chance? Sure, I could have fought harder, but instead, I just locked myself in my dressing room and let the tears flow. Most of the juicy roles went to Kim Wayne, she revealed. It became a pattern over and over again. And here's where it gets real juicy. Coles didn't hold back on her thoughts about Kim's acting chops. I've seen Kim in action, and let's just say she's not exactly a shining star. And you know what? I'd say it to her face. Oh, is that shade we hear? Well, we don't know what happened after, but both Kims have kissed and made up since then. Fast forward to 2020, and Kim Wayans shared her truth in a special YouTube series on BET. She didn't hold back, folks. She admitted that for a long time, she relied on others to define her sense of self. When I was young like that, I didn't really trust my voice. I looked to my brothers. I looked to other people to basically tell me who I was. But deep inside, I knew who I was and I knew what I wanted to do. But when you're young like that, sometimes it's hard to trust that. You know, you mature into trusting yourself and then you tell everybody else to go to hell. I'm going to do what I want to do. So I think I would tell myself to trust myself more. But deep down, she always knew her worth. It's just that pesky little thing called doubt that tends to creep in when you're young and figuring it all out. And let's talk about the struggle of being a young Black woman in the entertainment industry. Kim's been there, done that. Trying to figure out my place in the industry was hard because, you know, things are changing now and doors are opening up now. But, you know, when I was coming up and looking for opportunities, you know, it was like, 
put you in a box and you know, it's just certain things that are asked of you to do as a black actress. And it really, you know, wasn't all that thrilling, all that exciting. So it's nice to see now all these opportunities and all these different ways of seeing black people, black women in particular. That's really great. But you know what? She's all about embracing her individuality. She believes in the power of doing her own thing while still coming together with her family for those special moments. It's all about finding that balance between independence and unity and Kim's living proof that you can have both. And let's not forget about her recent ventures in the entertainment world. From guest starring as Susan in the hit Fox sitcom New Girl to playing Ella in the VH1 drama series The Breaks, Kim's been keeping busy. She even landed a role as Faye in the dramatic comedy Ray Me Tellin'. And if that's not enough, she recently graced our screens in an episode of the TV series, Marlon, alongside her brother, Marlon Wayans, in the lead role. Talk about keeping it in the family. But these days, she's all about the dramatic arts. Yep, you heard that right. I am not with or against you when you win or lose. While she may not have the same star power as her brothers, Kim's been quietly shaking things up on Broadway, and she's not in it for the fame. No, for Kim, it's all about the art. You know, this is a very irreverent and bawdy play. Mm -hmm. uh, God comes down with 10 new commandments for mankind and also lists the grievances of things that she's not happy with. Sure, her career brings her joy, but she's not out here chasing the spotlight. She's all about expressing herself as an artist, flying under the radar and letting her talent do the talking. When she's not lighting up the screen, Kim's busy flexing her writing and producing muscles. She teamed up with her brother Damon Wayans on his hit sitcom My Wife and Kids, putting her stamp on the show behind the scenes. But that's not all. Kim and her hubby Kevin Knotts have also joined forces to pen the delightful children's book series Amy Hodgepodge. It's all about a spunky multiracial girl navigating the world of public schools after years of homeschooling. Together, they've cooked up four books featuring this lovable character. Well, um, basically, Amy is a series that revolves around the trials and tribulations of a multiracial fourth grader who's starting school um, for the first time after being homeschooled her entire life. So she's starting at a real public school. Speaking of Kevin, he's no slouch in the entertainment department either. As an author and actor, he's been holding it down alongside his talented wife since they tied the knot back in 2002. And while the two may not have any little ones running around, they built a solid foundation of love and creativity together. And let's talk about money, shall we? Kim's not just funny, she's also rolling in dough. With a whopping $8 million fortune to her name at the tender age of 62. Yes, I said 62 because look at her. Doesn't she look youthful? She's living the good life in style. But despite her legendary status and comedy dynasty roots, Kim's not resting on her laurels. No, she's still out there carving her own path, blazing trails, and leaving audiences in stitches wherever she goes. <laughs> 